Hi, this is Jonathan Roberts, and this is a quick video guide to setting up the online ear training that comes with the four-star sight reading and ear training books that were just recently released with the 2015 celebration series of the Royal Conservatory Music Development Program. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download the browser Google Chrome if you don't already have it. A number of problems have been reported with Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, pretty much every browser except for Google Chrome when it comes to setting up the four-star online ear training. So if you don't already have it, Google it, download it. It's completely free and it's actually a uh, very good browser to have. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the program's homepage, musicdevelopmentprogram.org, and then log in just as you normally would. And it doesn't matter if you're a teacher or a student, um, you'll just use your normal login. And if you don't have an account already, you can just go down to sign up for an account. It's completely free and very easy. So we're just going to click Submit. And this will bring me to my main dashboard. So the next place I'm going to want to go is my digital learning. And you can access that either here on the dashboard, or if you want to go to my account, you can scroll down to my digital learning here as well. And when I click that, I'm brought to a page that shows me all of the books I've already activated. So I've already entered the codes for preparatory A and B and levels one through three. An important point about the codes is once you have activated it, it, it is permanently attached to your account. There's no unactivating a code so that you can give or sell your book to someone else. If you've accidentally entered somebody else's code on your account or if somebody else has entered your code on their account and you're completely stuck, you can call the music development program at the phone number on the contact page and they would be happy to give you a new code. So if you're wanting to add another book that you have, we have two options, add code and launch. You're going to go to add code. Launch is a little bit of a mystery right now. I'll just show you quickly what that does. This brings you to a page that shows every single levels icon. And if you click one that you've already activated, it just does the same thing that the icon on the last page did. It just brings you to the ear training exercises for that level. And if you click one that you don't have, then it basically brings you to a page saying that you need to get a four-star book and enter the code. So the launch page is a little bit of a mystery again, so don't worry about that at all. And you'll just go to add code. And here you're brought to a very simple page where you just have to enter the code that's on the inside back cover of your four-star book. So I am going to now activate my level four book. Submit. And this brings me back to that first digital learning page, except now the new book I have activated shows up. And if I click on it, I am brought to the ear training exercises for that level. So that's pretty much the quick and easy of getting a new book set up. Uh, I'd like to go a little bit into some of the ear training items just to show you how to get your computer working with recording, clapbacks, and playbacks. We're just going to go to Rhythm Easy, but this applies to both rhythm and melody. And if you've already done some of these exercises before, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this, that shows your latest attempts, the reviews that you've given yourself. That'll make a little bit more sense in a moment. So these are the basic rhythm clapback pages. They're all structured very similarly. We have the instructions that basically say that you'll hear a melody played twice and you'll record yourself clapping it. And then you'll hear yourself clapping it back as you actually see the music that was being played. Before you start this, you're going to want to make sure that the page has access to your microphone. And if you're using Google Chrome, when you go to this page for the first time, it should ask for permission. There should be a little pop-up that asks if you want to give the page permission to use the microphone. You will say yes. And once you've given that permission, it should be stuck with the page. So you don't have to give it permission every single time. If you're not sure if the page has permission to access your microphone, you can just click this little lock icon and it will show you the permissions for that page. And here it says microphone allowed by you. And if for some reason you want to change that, you are given the option as well. 
So now let's look at this exercise. So we have four buttons here. We have the play button that plays the exercise for you. We have this light bulb that basically gives you some hints if you're stuck. We have the check button that you use to check yourself after. And then we have the record button that you use to record yourself clapping or playing or whatever the exercise asks you to do. So the first thing you'll do is click the play button and we'll hear the melody after we hear the, after we hear one measure of the beat. And the next thing you want to do is hit the record button and it starts recording immediately and you'll start clapping. And you hit the same button to stop. And then once you hit the check button, the music that was played will pop up on this staff and you will hear the clapping that you just recorded. And it looks like I got it. And uh, again, if your student or you want some sort of hint, you can hit this light bulb and a little pop-up will come that gives you some advice, guidance, etc. And once you've evaluated how well you've done, um, you score yourself between one star and four stars. And the website actually keeps track of this. So if you want to go back later on to exercises that you did not do so well on to see if you can do better, uh, it should do a pretty good job of keeping track of that for you. And that is pretty much it on getting started with the online ear training for the four star books of the music development program. If you're having any problems, please feel free to uh, add some comments on the YouTube page. Just make sure you include the kind of computer browser and so on. Um, I think that would be pretty helpful for everyone. And again, my name is Jonathan Roberts. Thank you very much.